It's Roger once again, another absolutely stunning, a remarkable thing that I remembered is about Carbon and the Iceman. And you say, well, Roger, who is the Iceman? I said, well, it's the guy. I think they called him Ozzy or something like that. He was the guy they discovered frozen in a glacier in the, um, I think it's the Italian Alps, right in that area somewhere out there. It was right on the borderline. I think half of his body was in one side and one is the other side of it. Italy and Switzerland, something like that. Anyway, after doing a lot of work on that body, here is what they discovered. But first of all, I want to tell you about cancer, chronic diseases, mucous membranes, and my statements that this is carbon and fatty acids. That is what will repair your pains and so forth on your joints and tendons and all these things extremely important carbon and fatty acids I, I use castor oil it's a 18 carbons in a chain and on the 12th carbon there's a hydroxyl group which is an aggressive little molecule just OH and um, and it does wonders and it gets into my body and uh, and it's it's been quite helpful for me I'm not recommended necessarily for anybody else but I think you should take a look at this because your mucous membranes are constructed and serviced and all of your membranes are built from fatty lipids it's, it's literally carbon bags all right now here's the chemistry this is your cells there's two layers of carbon back to back and it's called a bilipid layer. Bi means two and the lipid means these fatty acids and water can stay on the outside and the inside but not in the middle. It's they call it a hydrophilic and hydrophobic. In between is the hydrophobic. Do not come in here with water. And through these passages there will be little tiny passages through there. There's going to be an actual gatekeeper that allows things in and out. Now I'm going to tell you what these are made out of because this is what your entire body is protected by. This is what your whole entire body is, but this is cell membranes. Alright, these are different types of cell membranes, cell membranes, cell membrane. Okay, hold on. Alright, now they're phospholipids. That's what you're made of. It's cell membranes. This is what I've been screaming about. And you have to have mucus to coat those in what's all carbon, 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 carbon. It's all carbons. All right, just for your own knowledge, this is how they get in and out of here. There's certain different gatekeepers and pores that allow these glycolipids through and carbon and so, you know, carb uh, carboxylation, all these carbohydrates and all kinds of stuff happens. It, but but it, it's not allowed in unless it's allowed in. Now, if it gets through there, not allowed in because this thing is damaged, you're in so much trouble you can't imagine it because its contents of the cell is destroyed now. Now, if this layer was your, your gut and it was in your intestines and it rotted through your intestines, just think of what's going to happen. You know what's in your intestines. You get septicemia. You're going to have all kinds of issues. Now, I'm telling you, listen to me. Carbon and the, the fatty acids are your friend. All right, so now that I'm done screaming about that, carbon, fatty acids, and why it helps you in the areas where you have pain, well, let's just see if it's ever done that for anybody else. Ooh, look at this. Scientists mapped all of Otzi's Iceman's 61 tattoos. That's interesting. He had twos, the, the tattoos. This guy, 6,000 years old. It's, you know, 5,300 years old, they say. And I... I uh, anyway, I'm not going to dispute carbon-14 at this moment because it's not correct, but we don't have to go into that now. He is a very old creature, frozen, and ooh, look at this. He had tattoos on his back in these very strange places. On top of that, his tattoos were likely applied by puncturing the top layer of skin and rubbing in charcoal. <laughs> Dark ancient skin and black ink don't offer a lot of contrast. Well, maybe they offer a lot of relief. Okay, these are what they found. And they said, these don't look like anything. These are the, sp well, here, I'm going to read the things. Let me go find it.
No, here it is. They can't explain it. It says the tattoos may have demarcated the location for acupuncture treatments. They thought that's, oh, at least now I don't know where to poke the needles. Or perhaps the tattoos were the treatment. Yes, they were. However, in the most recent tattoo inventory, researchers spotted a tattoo that seems to discount the whole thing because it's on his chest and there doesn't seem to be any any um, particular point of injury. You know, in other words, it says this newly discovered cluster could challenge prevailing theories about the purpose of the Iceman's tats. But researchers were quick to point out that he may have suffered from other health issues that cause pain in the chest area, but they weren't recorded in the remains. So, in other words, they're saying it was a treatment for pain, quite likely. But somebody, oh, no, 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 he's got other one here or there. Well, these kind of, they're just, just oddball places. They're in his back, right on top. I mean, it's, it's, it's exactly. It says this Iceman 61 originated in 19 different groups. Each group of tattoos simply a set of horizontal vertical lines. I mean, who the hell wants that? <laughs> it's believed <laughs> that the tattoos served as therapeutic, yes, or diagnostic, no, for the Iceman because the tattoo groupings tend to cluster around the lower back and joints. <laughs> I mean, it's so obvious now, it's amazing. Get yourself healthy, just like the Iceman did 5,300 years ago. If you get a doctor back then, you'd be healthy right now. <laughs>